Oops. Alan, there's no picture if you're cutting this. So, uh, you know, it takes me a couple of minutes to get to share on a page. Share on a page. Are you one of those people that has a box of Kleenex in every room of your house and you are just dreading to go outside because it's seasonal allergy time? John, do you know people like that right now? I do know a lot of people like that right now. Yes. Well, today, um, John and I are going to blow the secret. The, no, it's a secret, a capital S and all, no, all capital letters in the word secret about what seasonal allergies really are. Get real close. It's not about the pollen. <laughs> hey, hello, everybody. Welcome. If this is the Emotion Code Bro Show, I am Michael Loge. I'm a certified Emotion Code practitioner, and this is my bro. I'm John Inverarity. I'm certified in the Emotion Code and certified in the Body Code. Yes, and uh, John met because he helped me with the five-year limp that I had and corrected it via Skype after a couple sessions. Hello, new best friend. Call me every five minutes. You fixed my hip. And um, I'm the host of a regular Friday hangout show, 9 o'clock uh, Pacific, 12 noon Eastern, on the same Facebook page, and I've been doing it for 194 weeks. We're coming up to our 200th session and I'm very excited. I'm going to make a couple announcements, and then today we are going to be doing it. We're going to give you a shocking information about, well, frankly, seasonal allergies and what that's all about, and all the money you're spending on trying to correct that. I know that John and I have a great solution for you today. So a couple of announcements. Um, I am ready to launch my 10-session series. It's called Your New Body. I'm taking 10 people. We're having 10 sessions like what John and I are doing now. Everybody gets two emotion code sessions per session. If you do the math, that's 20. I'm guaranteeing at least 20, probably 30. And it'll be over an eight day period over three weeks. I know that's lots of math. I'll just sum it all up. You get to have over 25 emotion code sessions with me around having your ideal body. That's how, well, mine's almost ideal, but if you've been watching me, I've lost 40 pounds in one year using the motion code session with the help of John. And I put a system together that I used and I worked one-on-one -on -one with people and now they're doing great results. And I thought, how can I do this with more people? So you can go to hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash weight loss. That's hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash weight loss. Check out the program. We're just collecting people's interest right now. We're not taking registrations, but I want you to be invited. It's coming up soon. It is 10 sessions, 10 people. And well, I worked with a woman this week and she was addicted to Pepsi. Now, I don't know what that means in, in American style, but in Canadian, it was two liters. So I think we all know what a liter looks like. You know, the two liter pop? She drank two of those a day, two that's Pepsi. A, that's the big one, right? Yeah, the big one. You, know, <laughs> yeah. the one you, have, to, you have to carry in your car. And, yeah. uh, and I wasn't scared of her. I said, we're going to find out what that was. So uh, today we're talking about the motion code session. So I did an emotion code session with her, and she has tried everything. And I knew she tried everything. Hey, John, don't we love to hear that? Oh, I've tried everything. Uh, no, you didn't. If you're having two liters of Pepsi, two, two liters of Pepsi a day, you haven't tried everything. You haven't tried the emotion code. So I did it with so much confidence on Monday, but the little back in my head says, I wonder when I'm going to hear from her. So she sent me a message two days ago on Thursday. And with a couple swear words, she let me know what a shock it was for her. For the oh, first bet. time in her life, she hasn't heard the pop or that little fizz of the Pepsi bottle <laughs> and care less. Yeah, no, you haven't tried everything. Oh, you thought you tried all the allergy stuff? No, you haven't tried everything. 
So um, again, it's a 10 session program. I'm taking 10 people. One, uh, well, I'm doing it twice in the day. I'm doing it 9 a.m. Pacific time for you folks that are in your home and another one at 6 p.m. Eastern. So there's an opportunity to take 20 people. Are you one of them? Join me, hang out with michael.com forward slash weight loss. John, you have another special announcement today because I've been busy doing this. I've been busy going to the post office this week. Yeah. Canadian post office mailing stuff worldwide. What am I mailing? Please tell us. You are mailing your new book, Your Life's Purpose. Your Life's Purpose. And you're going to be busy going back and forth between uh, your home and the post office again because we're doing another book giveaway. Yeah, we're doing a book giveaway today. This is a, a winner from earlier uh, at the end of the week. I'm mailing one. I mailed one to Alaska. This one is going to Little Rock, Arkansas. Hey, are you one of those people that's curious about your life purpose? Or maybe you thought you had it when you got there. It wasn't it at all. Or maybe you don't even think that you have a life purpose. Well, I have enough audacity to think that I know what your life's purpose is. So you can check it out. I'll help you fulfill your life's purpose when you do the work, the five-step process in this book. So, John, what do people need to do to be eligible? Because we're going to draw this at the end of the show. What, are, what do they need to do? Really simple. Just uh, share this feed, this live broadcast right now. Okay. Yeah, go up. Simple and as that. And give it a like, too, actually, if you can like and share. But, uh, yeah, we'll be counting the shares. Uh, Hello. At the end of I'd the like show. you to like, share, and love. <laughs> Comment. Where you're calling from. Say hello. Where you're watching from. Tell us what you like about us. And stuff. <laughs> you know what, John? I think uh, we are going to go out and say hello to some friends that are watching us live. Just to stay tuned, we're, we're getting loaded up here. We are going to let you know the real secret about seasonal allergies. Oh, not only that, John, what are we looking for today? Who are we looking for? Well, we're looking for someone who has itchy eyes. <laughs> Uh, sore throat, itchy ears, <laughs> runny nose, uh, wheezing, uh, someone with allergies, seasonal allergies, in other words, uh, yes. having a reaction to the environment outside. Yeah. 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 You know what we really want? If you're in bed right now with a box of Kleenex and 300 <laughs> all tossed up on the right-hand side with no one in bed with you because you've got seasonal allergies, let John and I know in the comments. John's going to do a live emotion coach session while you're in bed with a runny nose. I'm going to communicate with you through the chat and Facebook. And I'm quite certain John will help reduce. But you know what? We're not going to say anything else. John, let's go say hello. Let's share this. I'm going to say start. We've got uh, Leslie Marshall. She's a loyal watcher at the Hangout with Michael show on Friday. So good morning. Can't wait to hear this. Oh, get yourself a pen and paper, Leslie. Who else, John? <laughs> uh Deborah's watching. Deborah, I don't know how to pronounce Deborah's last name. She is Victoria. She's also yeah, learning hello. how to be an emotion code practitioner. So I'm excited for her. Great. Yeah. Yes. Uh Carolyn. Uh <laughs> these last names always get Carruthers, me. Carolyn, 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 Carolyn. 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 We just can get away with saying Carolyn, but she's yeah. a dear friend. Carolyn Carruthers. She's Carolyn. she's giving us a woohoo. Deborah's waiting for her book in the mail. Oh. Uh, your father actually sent me an email yesterday, um, not uh, not Deborah's father, John, your father, <laughs> saying that email, uh, Amazon sent him an email saying that they shipped the book. Oh. So maybe they want people to receive it on Tuesday. I did not know that. I knew it was wow. being released on Tuesday. Well, I ordered one too, so I'm going to check my mailbox on Tuesday. Yeah, well... I think they like your dad better. So uh, yeah. <laughs> most people do. <laughs> oh, well, you know, Liz is back with us today. We said hello to her yesterday on the Hangout with Michael show. Liz Maglio, Sylvie Bellini. She's from sunny London today, sitting Ooh. on a lawn and looking forward. It's great. And uh, just a couple other people. We have uh, oh, Father Jim's watching. Jim and Berardi's watching. Our friend Beverly Wetmore is watching. Jerry, Lou, Christine, Carol Miller, and Shannon, they're all watching. I wonder which one of them is laying in bed with the box of rolled up dirty old Kleenex beside them because they've got seasonal allergies. We're waiting to hear from you. If that's you, if you've got seasonal allergies, let us know. We're checking the live feed here, and John and I are looking to help you right now. Within 45 minutes, we can help you. Who are you? Let us know. Let us know the severity. Is it like... Is it slight today or is it pretty serious? So, 
hey, John, let's have a little chat about your friend Tiger Woods. Apparently, he did not read your open letter. What was your no, open letter I... to Tiger Woods? Tell everybody. That was a few few months ago. Yeah, open letter to Tiger Woods. And uh, yeah, it was, it was an open letter to um, an offer for an emotion code and body code session to help him out with his back pain. Yeah. He's had a lot of surgeries, numerous surgeries, right? Yeah. And he's not playing golf. No. And what we learned about the uh, motion code, you're going to learn shortly, whenever you have an operation or surgery, that's where the trapped emotions gather. So even though they might have fixed his spine and his ribs or whatever they were working on, there were still trapped emotions around him that are stopping him from making the swing, that stop, would stop him from taking the drugs, would stop him from being in the newspaper again. Okay, Tiger, if you're in, you know where, in jail sometime, and you pick up the newspaper or you surf online and you find John Inverary's open letter, just text him. Because you need to be present to have an emotion. Just say, dude, bro, I saw your open letter and I'm reading it. <laughs> and I want you to help my back. Here's the severity. I give you permission. Boom. No, really, it can happen that way. Uh, Matthew Cohen from Overcast, Central California. Well, we don't hear that from California too often, do we? Hey, no. Liz Magnolio shared. And uh, just a reminder, Liz is now eligible to receive this. And one of these, because I'm doing it today, today's Saturday, I'm post officing today, doing it every day, actually. So good. Okay, John, welcome, everybody. And let's set up the topic today, which is seasonal allergies. So here's what we're doing today, everybody. We, uh, John's going to tell us about seasonal allergy. And then we're going to do uh, probably a 10 minute training, we're going to show you the seven keys to the emotion code process. And then after that, John's going to do a live session, the emotion code chart behind us right here. And uh, I'm going to communicate with you, runny nose person, and find out how John is helping you live during the, it's called Facebook Live. We got to do it live. So get on here. Let me know who's got seasonal allergies. John, thanks for chilling out again today. This is our, our current time slot, nine o'clock on Saturdays, because it both works for us. We're morning people. Yeah, absolutely, and, bro. Uh, our last show, woo. Ooh, that was a hot one. We were talking about the heart wall and how our heart has a wall of these trapped emotions, usually from past relationships. So you have to, oh, that was from Betty. You peel those away. Oh, that was from John. You peel that away. In other words, we protect our heart through pain and trapped emotions that we got in past relationships. Very powerful work. And uh, our friend Sasavan from India had a session about a week ago. He is waiting for results, but he might be a little anxious. And anxious waiting for results means anxiety. So I just want you to be expectant. Just be expectant. And expectance means you're waiting, but you're expecting it. Do you feel the difference? If you're wondering if it's going to happen or worrying it's going to happen, that's, uh, that's about negative vibrations. But be expectant, like a mother is. When she's expecting a child, she wouldn't say, Oh, I've got a baby coming up. Like you say, oh, I'm expecting a child. It's not that you're expecting that it's a child. You're expecting it to be delivered, right? You're expected. Be expected. That's great. Now, the word sounds funny after I say it 21 times in two minutes, so I'm done with that word. <laughs> All right. John, uh, do I have it in front of me? I'm going to start today's session off by a one-sentence email. Okay. Uh, my sister and I uh, were Skyping. And she had 21 rolls of dirty Kleenex rolled up beside her phone. And her eyes were watering. And she said, she said, oh, my allergies, my seasonal, well, she didn't call them seasonal allergy. She said, oh, the pollen is so thick. In the, and she was complaining about the pollen and her nose was running. And I said, let me do an emotion code session. So here's the end results of the email I got from her today. And I'm giving you the results so you'll pay attention, OK? Here's the results. Not you, John, you at home. I'm saying that nicely. Okay, okay a, little, a little mean, but mostly nicely. Okay. okay. So I wanted her to join us today to come in and talk. And she said, I'm away this weekend, however, an update on my seasonal allergies. None, all capitalization, gone. Pollen and flowers are everywhere. So shout out to my sister, Diane, who is breathing nicely. And she sent this. Uh, yesterday, and she's been four days. Four days we did the session. John, tell us what you want to tell us and what you know about seasonal allergies, please. You got to get into it. Okay, an allergy. So, 
That's good. Um, yeah. An allergy is a track record or a reminder of a past conflict. So it's something from the past, right? So at the moment of conflict, or we can say trapped emotion, the yeah. emotion, the moment of that um, that stressor, the subconscious is hyper aware, and it marks all association with that conflict. So whatever's in your environment. So if you're outside playing in the grass, and you know there's it's springtime, there's pollen in the air, and there's a little bit of conflict, and so your subconscious just puts those two together. So you have conflict and you have pollen. So the next time you're around pollen or grass or weeds or flowers, your subconscious remembers that and says, oh, last time I was here, uh, there was conflict. So it, it actually weakens oh, your body. Oh, shut the and, front and... door. Yeah, it does. Shut the okay. front door. <laughs> so here's what I'm hearing you say. Whenever you had a negative conflict in your life, whatever you were smelling or breathing in that very moment gets locked into your subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. And then it gets triggered. So in NLP, exactly. we call that a trigger. So you know how sometimes when you smell something, it brings you back to the beach. You know, like when I smell coconut, I still remember the beaches in Mexico, like just like that. So that yep. is a stored memory. Our subconscious mind remembers everything that we smell, touch, taste, read, experience. How much of everything, John? Everything. everything. So when I smell that or you smell something like, like for example, my mother makes this beautiful meat pie that she hasn't cooked in years and my sister made it. And we got the smell and when I was visiting, we said, wow. And then we start talking about growing up, like it's just all stored, smells are stored. So you're saying that conflict and that smell get locked in together. Right, yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, yeah, your subconscious uh, remembers everything, even from the womb. Yeah. Yes, so I know that's all we really have to say about that. <laughs> that's like, that's, people, uh, it summed it up nicely. Say, yeah, but my nose is full of pollen. Yeah, no, it's in the air right now. We know your nose is full of pollen. We know there's cat hair in the house. Yep, we know there's, there's cat, cat hair room. on your shoulder. It's not the cat hair. Yeah, but it happens. Well, yeah, it's not the cat hair. <laughs> it's your subconscious mind reminding you that the cat hair smell was, was that conflict, and then that trapped emotion gets in the way. It's not the cat hair. Stop blaming the cat, okay? <laughs> The only thing I was ever affected to, and I don't see it on the West Coast, but when I lived in New Brunswick, we had a lot of lilacs, you know, purple lilacs, and my mother had huge, yeah, I wonder what it was. I must have had conflict when I was young when playing out in the yard and all, it's exactly what it is. So, yeah. we, and she, oh, she loved her um, lilacs. They were big and purple and white. They, you just shake the tree and all the pollen, right? So now that I'm hearing the story, there must have been an event that I had that had conflict and all that pollen was in the air. And, uh, and I didn't know I was allergic to until I think about five years ago, I saw um, lilacs, not like in a store, and I haven't seen them on the West Coast. And I put my face in it and breathed it, and I totally reacted to it. So, yeah, I'm going to do an emotion code session on that. But we don't want to do me today. We want to find somebody out watching live today. So that's our dramatic news. Our dramatic <laughs> news that it's not about the cat and it's not about the pollen. It's about you having conflict with that smell in the air at one time. And I'm scanning up and down here, and um, uh, Wendy Matthews is saying, I'm ready to be using swear words too. See you there. Okay. Uh, I found, oh, Raina Raina says, I found cure at the beach. It stops automatically. That's because you're not in the pollen zone, which would trigger the, um, uh, which would trigger the memory. So here's what we're going to do, John. We are going to uh, we're going to do a little 10 minute emotion code training session, and then we're going to check and refresh our mail again to do that. Uh, Shannon's asking how to order the book. You can go to Amazon.com or Amazon.yourcountry. Just type my last name in Loge and your life's purpose. It's on sale. Barbara Romaine is suffering it at this time. She's in bed. Is Barbara Mamain at your house, Liz? Liz is telling me that. I'm thinking mm. she has a friend that's suffering at this time. She's in bed. Liz, uh, can you let me know if you can connect with your friend Barbara? Is she in your house right now? And if she is, is the severity of her allergies from zero to 10? 10. 10 being, I'm in bed. <laughs> She's in bed, okay? Uh, so, Liz, I think we're going to connect with you, unless you know a friend that's home and bub, but if she's in your room right now, because we need to connect with her, and we need to ask her permission, and we need to stay connected. So, John, 
Why don't you introduce the Emotion Code session? Uh, um, I will first introduce the author and the creator of the Emotion Code session, and then we'll talk about the keys. Go ahead, Absolutely. please. Absolutely. Yeah, so the Emotion Code <clears throat> was created by Dr. Bradley Nelson. It's an energy healing technique and also a book, and it's also a seminar as well. And Dr. Bradley Nelson, he's a chiropractor and worked on people in a brick and mortar practice for <clears throat> 20 or 30 years. And over time, he found out that it was people's emotional baggage that was contributing to their health concerns and disease and aches and pains and uh, an infinite amount of other imbalances too in their bodies. So yeah, Emotion Code book, I uh, highly recommend. Uh, get on Amazon and grab that. It's a great read. It explains everything you need to know. But we're going to summarize the book in about two minutes. And the bros <laughs> are a great way to help you get a better understanding of the book and the process. So stay tuned. Make us a habit and, you know, read the book, learn the process. You can learn it on your own and practice. Learn, you know, practice on yourself. You know, John and I became certified practitioners. We want to help other people. We want to make it part of our living. But a lot of people, most most people, I think, are working on their on their own. The other day, yeah. I had a chari horse. I don't know if that's a common expression around the world, but you know, the, oh my, I said, oh my God, you know how it gets worse. And I did an emotion code session on it, really, really fast in bed. I did this, and it's like, oh, it went away. Because you know, those chari horses, they get worse before they get better. Okay, John, we have a couple more people. Judy Fenner is saying, ooh, yuck, that's me. Constant runny nose. I feel like I'm three years old. And then Kath Worth, who's also a loyal watcher, is saying, I have severe, severe asthma today. Uh, today isn't bad. Usually I'm a phlegm factory. Oh, I wouldn't know how to spell phlegm. Did you look that up, Kathy, to spell it, or you're just used to spelling it? Uh, but we're going to do another check here. John, uh, we are going to talk about the seven keys to the emotion code process. Uh, oh, before we do that, I think you should define what a trapped emotion is first. A trapped emotion comes from what? A trapped emotion is an unprocessed emotion from a past negative event. It's our emotional baggage. Yes. <laughs> you know how some people, John, they say, they say, um, oh, I'm over that. I, I, I processed that. We say, well, no, no, you didn't. Consciously, maybe, but subconsciously. Yeah, even if you even if you wrote to your journal and your diary and you did that, even if you did all that and you think you got rid of it, here, we're not making the rule, we're just teaching it, okay? We don't like it either. Every negative emotion you have, part of it stays behind. Even if you had your snit and your fit and you throw dishes up against the wall to get, get angry, and say, ah, I got rid of that. Well, guess what? No, you didn't. <laughs> part of that negative emotion stays behind and it's called trapped emotion. That's why they're called trapped. They're not good, they're trapped. <laughs> they're trapped, they're going away. Yeah, Before yeah you it's about the size of your fist or even the size of a cantaloupe. Yeah. yeah. Okay, go ahead, John. That's what a trapped emotion is. So here is key number one of the seven keys from the Emotion Code Bros. Key number one. Emotion Code Bros. Coming at you first with the Emotion Code Chart. Yeah, we've so, got the Emotion Code Chart. <laughs> coming at you live. This is the chart. So there's two columns and six rows totaling 60 trapped emotions. So they're all different uh, emotions, all unique vibes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And these are there's 60 of them and they are residing in different organs as well. You know, we don't really need to use that information in today's session, but they're related here. And what our job is as a practitioner, and if you were doing it yourself, you'd, you'd, you'd want to you'd want to find out what which one of these is trapped. Well, it's a big job to go through every one. Is it this one? Is it this one? So, yeah, first we have the emotion code chart. Dr. Bradley's emotion code charts are 60. They're negative vibration. Then secondly, remember that your subconscious mind that knows what, Jeffrey, John, it knows everything. Of everything. What does it know? Everything. It knows which one of these is the problem. So how do you get it from your subconscious mind to your conscious mind? Well, John, say it when you see it. We need to ask it by muscle testing, which is biofeedback or kinesiology, applied kinesiology, but muscle testing. Yeah, there's That's many right. different types of muscle testing. Some people invent their own, uh, but essentially, <clears throat> uh, this is one way. You can make a, a loop with one finger or one hand like that, and another finger goes through it. So you would ask yourself uh, a yes or no question. 
So I'd say my name is John and I'm getting a yes there. So that's tight. My muscles are strong. I'm in agreement. That's a yes. And if I say my name is Bob, my finger would go through. It takes a little bit of practice to get uh, muscle testing uh, perfected. And uh, yeah, so that's what it is. So we're communicating with a supercomputer subconscious mind via muscle testing. But there's only one condition to the questions that you can ask, right? Yes, and, no. and that's oh. that's part of being what's you know the skilled practitioner, and you'll you'll learn the skill yourself. Is that you can't say, "What's well, my favorite color?" You know, am I going to win the lottery? You can't ask those questions. You're asking questions that are stored. The future mm -hmm. isn't stored. These are stored information. But you can't ask your favorite color because you can only ask what kind of questions, John? Yes or no. Yes or no. So you could say, it's my favorite color, blue, green, with looking at a list or reading a list. So now we've made an agreement with our subconscious mind. When my fingers tell me that's a yes, you know, so I'm not trying to figure it out. I want my subconscious mind. Tell me which one it is. Is it the first one? Is it this? Oh, it's this one. Yeah, thanks for showing me a yes. By the way, our subconscious mind loves to do work for us. It is so underworked, so it loves this little assignment. So we're in the habit of repeating here on the Bro Show. Number one, we've got a chart. Number two, we're going to use muscle testing to find out which the trapped emotion is. Because we're doing it on your behalf, we need to become your proxy. What does that mean, proxy? So the practitioner is acting on your behalf, so uh, the client or the patient. So the, the practitioner will put uh, their energy aside and connect uh, with you. Uh, so there's an invisible little cord between yeah. everyone. And so we're making a strong connection um, anywhere in the world with anyone, anywhere, anytime. And I know people have heard the expression before where they've said, uh, you know what, we're all one. We're all connected. Yeah, we're, yeah no, we are. <laughs> And so because we're all connected and when you give us permission, uh, sorry, and as the proxy, uh, well, I'm kind of moving ahead of myself, but the proxy is giving you uh, permission to say, yes, you can tap into my, you can do this for me because I don't know how. I don't want to learn, but you can do it for me. So we're going to ask your subconscious mind these questions with being your proxy. Now, before we even start a session, like right now, I'm talking to a couple of people live to get some information here. We're trying to find someone to volunteer today. Um, we want to know what the severity is. John, tell me about that. What does that mean? Severity. <clears throat> so that's a measurement on a scale of one to ten on how severe it's bothering you, how much pain you're in, how much it is, how bad it's affecting your day-to-day -day life. So ten would be the most severe, like you're in the hospital, and zero it would be it's gone. There's nothing. It doesn't bother yeah. you at all. Yeah. And we want to measure our work because before we get started, we want to say, oh, it's an eight. Right now, my pain is an eight or my runny nose is an eight on a scale of one to ten. We show off here at the Hangout with Michael Rose show. We want, us, we want you to now measure when we're done say, wow, it's gone. We don't want to tell you it's gone. We want you to tell us it's gone. We can also test to see if it's gone. So we want to know the severity. Hey, John, we got some more uh, regular viewers watching us. We have Dia from Atlanta. She's, brought, she's joining us today. Our friend Shirley Pierre, Sig Brown is back in a snowstorm what? Of, of cottonwood fluff. I did. I, did okay. that. I thought, where is Sig Brown today? Where in the world is Sig Brown? He's in a cottonwood fluff. Uh, Delilah's here, so she's saying good morning. And uh, Shannon's asking about Dr. Bradley's book. If you can hold that up for Shannon, please. She'd like to see that again. The emotion code. Get my fingers okay. out of the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again, we are looking for a volunteer. Uh, oh, Shirley Pierre, if you want to volunteer, Shirley Pierre, send me a private message and let me know what the severity is of your current scenario, and I'll be able to read that right online here. Okay, now, John, we've got it set up. We've got the chart. We know how to do muscle testing, but now before we can, you know, we can't be going on the streets and doing this. We need to have people's permission. Yeah. Yes, verbal permission or written yeah. permission. An agreement. And you can even yeah. pre-schedule permission. Yep. Yeah. So I might yep. say, you know what, I'm, I can help you out this afternoon. Oh, I'm busy. I said, well, I can do that. This without you. Yeah. I remember the first time, John, when I hired you, when I was looking for a body code practitioner, I didn't know you could do it on the phone or Skype. So I live on an island, no bigger than Gilligan's Island. So I knew nobody was here. So I typed in body code practitioner of Vancouver, and John's name came up, and I said, well. 
I was willing to leave the comfort of this island, go to Vancouver to have a body code session. So we didn't really talk too much about that. Why don't you tell us more about how the sessions can be held? I didn't leave my house. No, we were, my session. Um, the session was over Skype. So you were in the comfort of your own home and I was um, here in my home office and working on you. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, I can so, work on, we can work on anyone anywhere. So I work on children that are at school. I work on dogs and cats and horses that are wherever they are. Yeah. And so we don't, you don't need to bring your horse over. I can yeah. work on them. <laughs> I know. You know, last week I worked on my mom. My sister went to the senior home while my mom's leg was sore, right? And my mom yeah. had a stroke. So she she kind of understands that she's fascinated watching the product. Diane makes her, she makes Diane show her the camera while I'm doing the, you know, all the, all the little magic there. And I, even if, and I know I'm near done, right? Cause I'm doing the measurement and I always know I'm near done because my mother starts to laugh. She giggles when it's gone. She thinks it's weird. And, she, and then, then I can hear her talk. Come on. And she's Tom Diane, come on, let's go. And like they're done with me. <laughs> Moving on. Hang up. Yeah. Like there I'm a go. machine. They're, we're done with you now. Okay, John, we, so we've got people's permission. So let's just recap what we got. John, as the practitioner, is going to be using muscle testing because we're all connected. You're going to give him permission. He's going to go through the list to find out what's stuck or what's trapped or stuck and trapped. When he finds it, his finger will say, that one right there. In that very moment, John will start to remove that trapped emotion and he takes it on, not fully takes it on. Because we are doing this, John, we are using a magnet. Yes. Ooh, what's that about? Why magnets, right? So magnets are pure energy, yeah. like us. And the magnet helps. It's, it's actually stronger than the emotion. So once we surface that trapped emotion, it comes up to the surface. We use the magnet to release it, to clear it out of the way. So it helps um, basically delete the trapped emotion. So a good analogy I use. <clears throat> Well, a new one actually is uh, like your email. So if you want to delete an email, you can't just think about deleting an email. You got to go into your email. You got to click on it and say, yeah, that Take one, action. I want to delete it. You go yeah. hit the trash bin. That's what we're doing. So we're identifying it and we use the magnet to delete it. Yeah. So there's some thought and some intention and to clear that emotion. Exactly. And yeah. that is almost the last part of the process is the magnet dilutes it all. And then we test our work. We say, is it deleted? Is it still there? Now, uh, we need fuel. We need to be plugged in to make this work, you know. And as the practitioner, this is a key element of the process. Hydrated practitioner. Yeah, so so takes, we are drinking a lot of water to keep hydrated, yeah. keep the circuitry open and flowing. Good. Well, I was hoping we would have a session today, uh, John, and um, surely. Yeah, I'm not seeing. I've asked questions, but I'm not sure why people aren't able to reply to me. Oh, well, she I said a uh, private message. She just sent it. It just came oh, up in my she feed. She did. Okay, yeah, thanks, surely. I know we are seeing different um, comments and people. Yeah. So. Shirley Pierre, line one, please. In the comfort of your own home. Okay. And I uh, <laughs> I'm listening to you on my phone. Okay. <clears throat> Private message from Shirley. Let's see if I got that. Oh, and Kevin's watching uh, live. Hi, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Kevin. Uh, yeah. Hey, Shirley. And, welcome. Um, you know, Shirley's been on the show today. We should just have her on the panel. <laughs> 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 All right, sure, it's your show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hear, I'm going to read Shirley's note. She's watching live from Montreal, Shirley sure. Pierre. Montreal. Hi, Michael. Right. Seasonal allergy started when I lived in Vancouver from 1997 to 2006. Well, considering Victoria is Canada's garden city, the pollen from Victoria must blow over to Vancouver, and maybe that's when it got trapped there, Shirley Pierre. Between March and August, I have usually had one to two bouts of congestion. The last one I had this past March was very long, four to five weeks. So she said the severity is eight to 10. I'm not sure if she has it right now, but let's still clear that for her. And mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, so I don't know if she's having it right now, but when she has it, it's four to five weeks. So that's pretty severe. So now that we understand this, I mean, we're just, we're just creating the backstory now, but she did live in Vancouver. It is a beautiful pollinated city, right? 
And she knew it didn't happen before that, you know, not that there's no flowers in Montreal, but maybe she had an experience. So it kind of makes sense. So, yeah, uh, so, so it's not just trees here, it's or flowers. It could just, it could be grass, it could be weeds, um, dust, mold, okay. smoke. Oh, really? right? A lot of the people are burning fires right now. It could be smoke. Yeah. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to, uh, if not remove all of the trapped emotions, you'll do maybe five minutes worth because you want to demonstrate that. So here's what, right. so let's just check everything, John. Let's, let's go through our list. Do we have one of those? Uh, yep, we got okay. water. We have a hydrated <laughs> practitioner. Do we have a magnet? I've got my magnet ready. Do we have her permission? Yes, we do. Now we have her permission because she's she's intended for John to work on her without saying the word yes, and sure he's probably saying yes. I want to have this done. Do we oh, have yeah, this? Says, yeah. uh, severity. We do eight out of ten, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. Are we going to get one of those? Proxy. We're about to do that. Do we know how to do this? We sure do. And you have one of these in front of you? <laughs> I do. Okay. I have them on wallpaper in my house. There's not a there's not a room that I don't. And then I did I laminated them. I had one in every room in my house. They're like matches in the old days. Okay, uh, John, why don't you start to prepare the session and uh, maybe in the beginning uh, talk out loud and I'm going to walk people through the chart so you can stay focused there. Okay, absolutely, yeah. So I'll just uh, take a moment and uh, connect to Shirley here. So I'm muscle testing. My hands are just uh, below um, my lap here. <clears throat> So, um, Shirley, Pierre, can I connect? I got a yes. So I've got a good connection. So proxy, I'm getting yes. Okay, so seasonal allergies, severity, I got nine out of 10. So these allergies, this reaction and one thing I like to do with allergies is actually test immune system function okay. because it's actually the emotional trapped emotions weakening the, the immune system. So the allergies is, is, a, is connected to the immune system. In other words, <clears throat> 50% immune system is functioning at 50%, 80, no, 65 <clears throat> immune system, 64% of total capability. So we want to get that up high 90s, right? So <clears throat> let's ask, is there a trapped emotion related to these allergies? And I'm getting a yes. Column A, yes, odd row. No, so it's an A even row. So is it in two, four, six? So it's an A four. <clears throat> is it anger, bitter? Eh, I got yes on anger. So we have anger, yeah. Do we need to know more? No, we can clear it. Yeah, so we can clear it. Uh, we don't have ages. Sometimes if we do need to know more, we get a, an approximate age. Right now we don't. Yeah. I don't so know. just to Shirley's recap what's age. happening here is that John was using muscle testing, connected to Shirley Pierre in Montreal, who's not even with us, got connected with her permission. He's asking her subconscious mind which one of these trapped emotions made it really easy. You saw how fast he got to anger when there was 60. As soon as he identified it, it starts to reside above him in the solar plexus. Then he takes the magnet and then he releases it and now it's gone. And there's more than one usually. So go ahead, John. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The immune system's up to 69% now. <clears throat> so is there another trap you're emotion? Such, you're such a show off, John. Related to this allergy. Yeah. <laughs> Is it in column A, column B? Be odd, be even. So we have be even, so two, uh, six. It's uh, first, second one, shame. Second emotion is shame. Okay. Do we need to know more? No, we can clear that. Yeah, we can clear it. Now we've got, we've got two so far. John's gonna continue to do that. I'm gonna acknowledge some of our watchers, John, if you don't mind me talking while yeah. you're doing that. Uh, our friend Shannon, uh, she said, I'm so happy I clicked on this. Huge fan of you both. Ah, oh, shucks, thanks. Uh, <laughs> okay. Meant to be, I've had allergies all of my life in really tough times in the past. So this makes sense. Now to start clearing out this old stuff. Well, you know what, John and I are taking appointments. I'm actually working Sunday and through the week. 
If you want to go to hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash emotion code, and John is at Alive and Pure, we can help everybody out this weekend. Uh, Dee is saying that she's had a rough relationship with my mother, but I don't remember having these severe allergies when I was in grade school or university. Yet you won't remember because there's not enough room to remember, but your subconscious mind would remember that, right? Uh, Carol Miller, thank you, Carol, for uh, sending the link to buy my book from Shannon. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sylvia Bellini, she said, I'm perfectly fine sitting on the grass. Wish the friends I shared with, with that who are suffering would get in touch with you. Me too. Hang out with michael.com forward slash emotion code. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got disgust and guilt. I'm clearing guilt right now. Okay. Kevin Hahn is saying hello. Awesome stuff. Thank you, Kevin. And uh, only a couple people have told me that they've shared the book. So we're not going to have a lot of entries into that today. Another announcement. Maybe we did that early in the show. So for maybe yeah. for people coming on late. You uh, well, you know what? With Facebook Live, there is no late. They have to watch it from enough. the beginning. So guess what? We're saying it again. Oh. If you want to win a signed copy of this book that's going in the mail, likely today or Monday, let us know that you've shared it, and uh, we'll put you in our little draw. Okay. okay, another trapped emotion related to this allergy. Yeah, two, two. Nervousness. Do we need to know more? No, we can clear that. Clear nervousness. Do you, want to give, do you want to give us an update on her immune? I do. Yeah, good. It's fun. It's at least 80%. Yeah, we're up to 85. <clears throat> yeah. You know, this okay. week, John, uh, I've been talking about helping people with ringing in their ears, and I helped one woman quite quickly in about 20 minutes. This other gentleman I'm working on, we've had three sessions now, but, but it's hard to tell your own severity levels, right? It's like, I don't know. It's hard to... I don't know. It's like I've been doing this for an hour now. I don't know if it's helped, but your subconscious mind knows it. It's it's the best it's the best calculator in the world. I was asking complex complex question. I asked the subconscious mind since the beginning of this session, what was the percentage increase in improvement in my hearing? And it's like math questions, and it was it's like twenty eight percent. It was like oh. <laughs> so you know we've got you know, it. So even though you might not feel the improvement. Your subconscious mind will measure just what you're doing. So what's the new number? Where did you start first with the immune system? Do you remember? 64, and now it's mm -hmm. at to 85. So um, lowered immune system, 64 is not too bad. Below 30 would be the red zone. But uh, low immune system could result, obviously, in allergies, but aches and pains, fatigue, frequent colds and flus. Um, well, Shuri's a regular uh, watcher, so yeah. uh, we're going to ask her. Maybe she can come on next week, come on the panel and give us a quick update or certainly let us know today. But I think you yeah. have time for a couple more to get rid of Yeah, there. I got about a 25% improvement after clearing two, three, four, five emotions, and the immune system's up 20%. Chipping away at it. So yeah. <laughs> another trap emotion related to this allergy, these seasonal allergies. Um, yeah, column A, column B, so A odd, A even, so A6, jealousy, we need no more, no, clear jealousy, yeah, that's cleared, yeah, and you know what the other thing is, this is a little, uh, well, it's unknown, but maybe like a, a quick fix, I should, yeah, it's, this is a quick fix, it's, it's over the <laughs> phone in five minutes, but it's actually, um, the, if it's windy outside, the wind blows the pollen around and your subconscious knows that it's windy. So even like a breeze or the wind can can um, aggravate or cause allergy symptoms. Yeah. God, can you imagine me allergic to wind? Can you imagine that? Or oxygen? <clears throat> I'm allergic to wind. <laughs> Is there a trapped emotion uh, related to these allergies and wind? I'm getting a yes there. <clears throat> Weird, hey? <laughs> Be odd. Even, too. Well, the mere fact that you brought it up, I'm always suspicious of that. You have to pay attention to it, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we have hopelessness. Yeah, I need to know more. No. So the wind is a trigger. Cat's a trigger. Grass is a trigger. 
Sounds kind of hopeless. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cleared hopeless. <laughs> okay. Another trapped emotion linked to this allergy and um, wind. <laughs> yeah. A, B, A, odd, even. So one, three. Okay. We're in an odd row here. Uh, rejection. Do we need no more? No. Clear rejection. All right. So let's measure our work again here, hey? After a couple more. Yep. Severity, five out of 10. No. We got a four. Four out of 10. Says the subconscious. Immune system is at 90%. Yeah, 95. No. So somewhere between 90 and 95. We can get, uh, we're at 93. Sure, he's keeping track. She point said one, she point two. Four to 85, so <laughs> yeah. she, she's listening. Uh, there might be some more here. Yeah, there are. <clears throat> Call it me. Odd, even two, two, four, four. Uh, resentment? Resentment. So resentment, yeah. So you might have done that um, journaling on forgiveness, the forgiveness prayer. Got over that, but no, that's that resentment still there. Yeah, no, I thought I got that off my back and I didn't. No, clear resentment. <laughs> okay, that's cleared. Yeah, that was a good one. <clears throat> okay, so immune system 95, that bumped up 2%. Severity is a four, it's a three. Two? No. So we're down to a three out of 10. Says oh, this wow. suggests yeah. the subconscious. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. We can. Uh, uh, we should wrap up. Uh, do a couple more. Get her. Yeah. You know, when you're when you're satisfied. Yeah. The last one was pretty good. Resentment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight trapped emotions. That's actually quite a bit. <clears throat> okay. Another trapped emotion, Shirley. A odd even, a four, uh, bitterness, yeah. Okay, we need to know more about bitterness. No, clear, yeah, clear bitterness. John, I'm checking, look at all the people that shared the, yeah, it's the, clear. Um, yeah, the system here lets me know who shared it, so I like that. <clears throat> Still out of three, we're out of two. Yeah, anything else to do with wind and this allergy? No. <clears throat> Reaction to wind? No. Or even like dampness too and, and mold. <clears throat> In the Pacific Northwest, there's a lot of dampness and mold and that can be a trigger as well to allergies. Sometimes it's really good to check for that as well. Yeah. I'm getting a yes. <clears throat> no wonder why it lasted five weeks. It's so quite a bit there. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to disconnect now. Yeah. And just make sure I'm myself. So I'll just disconnect. So thank you, Shirley, for volunteering. I'm just going to disconnect. So <clears throat> my name is John. Yeah. All right. So I'm back to uh, my own person. And Shirley, let us know how you're feeling. Any like sensations moving around? Some people feel a little bit lighter, some tingling. <clears throat> a little more clear, vision's improved. Pain, just, sounds like your throat's from... a little irritated. Does that happen to you? Your throat gets a little scratchy? Sometimes in the morning. <clears throat> I just need a little more water. Yeah. Maybe I took something on from Shirley. <laughs> yeah. So, John, I'm looking at all the people that shared, and there's about eight. Okay. So, I need you to pick a number between one and eight, and then we're going to do it that way. Uh, but first, let's uh, thank everybody that's joined us live today. I'm just going to write this woman's name down here before we do that. Oh, it's a woman. Okay, so if you're a man, you can sit down because it's not you. Okay. A woman has won today's book. But, uh, John, let's go back out, and um, probably I might know who joined us because you were busy there. Uh, so I'm just going to go to the bottom here and see who's saying hello. Uh, John, can you let people know how they can get a hold of you? Yeah, please visit my website, aliveandpeer.com. It's uh, typed out just right below me here. 
And um, yeah, liveandpeer.com. Also on Facebook. So if you want to search Facebook for Alive and Peer, I'm there. So after the broadcast, you can head over there and give it a like. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram. Instagram. Instagram, hey, if you're on Instagram, a live tell, we, we haven't been encouraging our hashtag today. Why don't you do that for us? Emotion code bros. Yeah, give it a hashtag. hashtag when you share it, bros. Yeah. yeah, share it, like it, comment, hashtag emotion code bros. <laughs> and John and I both have online calendars, so we don't have to go back and forth about dates. You can look at the calendar. It'll show you in your time zone. You pick the right slot. I have 30-minute sessions, 55-minute sessions, and three-hour packages. John, what's your offerings? Yeah, 20-minute sessions, 45-minute sessions, and package of three 45-minute sessions as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have a new viewer watching us. Her name is Sissy Chan, and she's from Hong Kong. Uh, I have developed sinus allergies when I was a kid living in Hong Kong. It subsided when I moved to the U.S. Now I moved back to Hong Kong for eight years, and my allergies got really severe. Mm. Makes a lot of sense, right, because you're back right. in that smell again. Go to yeah. aliveandpure.com, and John can help you with that. I can, too, for that matter. Uh, I'm just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, like knowing when people are fun. fun. Our Gwen Lorraine is joining us. Uh, she's a regular viewer. She's from London, just tuning in, but we, she'll defo catch the replay. I love that, defo. Yeah. So I'll defo catch the replay. Yeah, bro. You know, what, you know what another word they use in the UK? I'm writing that down, Gwen. I'm stealing it, defo. They use the word brill. Oh, that's Brill. I love that. Uh, our friend Dia is very chatty this morning. Hello, Dia. She said she's made the statement about remembering the allergies because I only remember dealing with the allergies since my nine years in the military. Bless your heart. I was thinking that is because I've been in and out of hospitals throughout the military career and even these eight years since I got out of the military. In fact, it is one of the main reasons why I chose not to continue the military. Well, mm. if you think you have allergies, let us help. Um, yeah, actually, I just thought of something. It's the allergies is is kind of like PTSD. I mean, it's nothing severe like you yeah. know being overseas in another country um, mm -hmm. in the military, but it's your it's it is a form of PTSD to your body. That that reaction lowering your immune system weakens your body, eyes, nose, throat, ears, yeah. mouth, skin. Yeah. Uh, the author, Dr. Bradley Nelson, actually gives free copies of his books for people that are working on PTSD. Did I say those letters right? I hope so. Yeah, because it's so effective. It is so effective that he just says, use the book, get rid of it. Uh, Shirley Pierce saying, thank you, John. So, um, oh, that's good. Welcome, Shirley. Yeah. And she called with hashtag go bros. And she's very Carolyn. thirsty. She's feeling really tingling, cool. tingling on her triceps. She's excited about the 90. She says it's awesome and she loves us. Nice. Yeah, and tingly you know, triceps. She, you know, she's in the land of smoked meat sandwiches in Montreal, right? Yeah, lots of uh, charcoal burning. Uh, yeah, drink lots of water, Charlotte. Charlotte is giving us a go, bros. Emotion code bros. <clears throat> there we go. Liz is giving us that. Well, Liz, I am also tell you now, you won today's book. Ooh. Liz Maglio has won today's book. And uh, that's how we're going to wrap up. Now, John, we don't have a subject for next week, but I think what we're going to do different next week we, I would like to get somebody on the panel that's in chronic pain. So we had a lot of regular viewers today. They've been following us like the Pied Piper. So we want to help you. If you've been watching this and thinking, so, or you can just email me and say, it might not be critical. You might be stressed out, anxiety. I don't know what it is. We want to, we want to help you. We want to help you live on the show. We are doing this to demonstrate this beautiful technique that everybody should know about it and experiencing it. It's time. Like what, what's block, what are your blocks? What are, what's blocking you? What's your orange cone? What's your orange cone? Uh, so Liz, I'm gonna send you a message through Facebook. You might have to check under other mail and let me know what your email is or your mailing address is. Yeah, John's holding up an orange cone there. John, uh, in closing today, tell us how that relates to the work we're doing. Yeah, symbolic for a trapped emotion. So when you're out driving around and you see an orange cone, what does that mean? It means detour, slow down, stop, e e go e somewhere else. E You're not getting through here. Or it's going to take a really long time. So it's like cutting like a, a super highway of eight lanes down to one lane. It's trappy motions. You are, it's going to create resistance to allowing. It's going to cause pain, cause a number of symptoms. Yeah. It was interesting. 
I printed this off before the show and I chickened out using it because I was going to open the show showing this. <laughs> yeah. Putting an X through it. And I thought, you don't have to make other people wrong, but we're making us right. Really, the emotion code is the way to go if you have allergies. If you have somebody of a friend that might be having them, and this is lifetime solution. It's not a pill you have to take and wait. You know, it lasts for eight hours. No, this lasts forever. And once the trapped emotions are gone, they're gone. They don't come back. So let us help you forever. I know my sister is breathing nice right now after day seven of getting rid of her allergies. Are you next? <laughs> so, John, are you around next Saturday, same time? Sure. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Yeah, we're, we were trying to find a sweet spot, but I like Saturdays and I like Saturday mornings. And I'm pretty selfish to only do what I like. So we're going to do that. Uh, between now and Saturday, I'd love to have somebody come forward and say, I've got chronic pain or I've got this. What we really want to do is demonstrate live on this Facebook live show, the reduction and removal of chronic pain caused by trapped emotions. We'd love for you to be our superstar and you get it for free. Say yes if you're in. Yes. Yes. Hey, everybody. Uh, John and I always, after the show, even though it's done, there's, you can still watch the replay. And of course, uh, we stay on top of it. Ask us any question you have about how we can help you with the emotion code. We'll be there to answer it personally. John, let's say goodbye to our friends.